So, the most unique classic Doctor Who story ever? Which Doctor Who story am I talking about that deserves this distinction? Well, keep watching, because you're about to find out. Shada. What was meant to be the end of season 17 of Classic Doctor Who in 1980, but wasn't. And why was that? Well, because they were never able to complete the story. Due to reasons. Yes, due to... Um, multiple different reasons, including they just couldn't get out to the locations to film and the budget was suffering. So what is this story about? Well, the Doctor and Romana are called in to deal with a case of an escaped convict from Shada, the Time Lord's prison, where they house the most dangerous criminals. And most of the story actually takes place on Earth for the first four episodes of this six-part story. And teaming up with Professor Kronietz in his TARDIS, which takes the form of a 19th century living room and library. And they eventually do manage to make it to Sharda, where they almost all get captured. And it's up to the Doctor, as usual, to save everyone. Now, what makes this story unique above all the rest is, well, one, obviously I've just said a while back, that it is an unaired story, and it is unaired because the production team behind it at the BBC were unable to complete the footage for the episode. Now, this is what makes the story unique. Now, sit down and sit comfortably, but don't fiddle with the TARDIS controls because... What makes this story unique above all the rest is that for all the footage they were unable to film, years down the line, they actually made animated scenes to put in where, uh, like, to put in the place of the live action scenes they couldn't film. And it is very well detailed animation and it is a voice actor doing the voice of the fourth doctor in those scenes but you wouldn't know it because he sounds dead on as a Tom Baker impersonator And the other thing that makes this story unique is as it was unable to be broadcast due to them being unable to finish making it, there are no viewing figures. The only way you can see this story is via nowadays either a DVD, 
Yes, that's right. A DVD as part of a revisited box set, I think it was. Or the Season 17 Blu-ray collection set, which if you're lucky enough to have from its original release, includes the story in there at the end. So, what do I think of Shada? Well, I thought it was brilliant. And the way they were able to transition from the live action footage to the animated footage and back was some of the best editing I've ever seen in a classic Doctor Who story. <laughs> so, um, and this was the first time any type of animation had ever been done for a Doctor Who story, mind. For a home media release. So guys, if you've managed to snag yourself copies of that box set and see this story, I'd like to know your thoughts. Let me know in the comments below. Because it is one fucking amazing story. And it is the and it is it is supposed to be it was what was supposed to be the proper ending of that season in the first place. So guys what would you like to see me review in the next edition of Some Magical Reviews? Because I'm opening the floodgates here, so to speak. And let me know in the comments below. You can request anything as long as it's not anything of the obscene nature. You know how I mean that. And I have to have seen it myself. But also, if it's something that I've never seen before, it will be considered. Let me know that in the comments below. And I would like to see what you choose. But that is it for this episode and thanks for watching if you enjoyed this episode or this video please feel free to like comment share and subscribe and have a some magical time